Intimidation. First bullet point here is the leader authority, the chosen status or celebrity treatment, and the one that has the exemption from the rules. Oh, oh this no. sounds like our series on Herbert W. Armstrong. Exactly. <laughs> The leader authority, that can come in a lot of different forms. It's just whoever thinks they own you. Well, in the case of our cult and some of the offshoots that still exist, mm -hmm. the leaders, they seem to really get off on like calling themselves Elijah or the witness or like there's, <laughs> it's so stupid. There's like roles in the Bible that supposedly in the end times so and so is going to come back to earth or blah 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 and so they just straight up claim that they are that person um armstrong often claimed that he was god's apostle or whatever um that guy brother stare who our parents went to his cult for a while he yep. literally claimed to be god's end time prophet there were so many of those a lot of religious organizations with the worldwide church of god it was definitely a hierarchy i mean you had the members you had the deacons you had what like the assistant pastors ministers and then the pastors and then you had regional directors and then you had your evangelists and then you have the pastor general or the apostle yeah i mean it operated almost entirely as a corporate structure with like a c-suite and everything oh very much a and I don't know why it's always been humankind's drive to sort of like keep moving up on this invisible corporate ladder. Like why? Why okay. why can't we just collectively as a group make decisions? Why does there always have to be just one authority over everyone else? I mean, it's a good question and I I can't help but think that it has to go back to just straight up survival, right? Like a almost a pattern that would have gotten established before we had a modern civilization situation going on where like, you know, you talk about survival of the fittest, like that is what was going on, right? There would have been tribal groups vying for resources. And so if you are in the group or near the leader of the group that has just won those resources, guess what? You and your children are more likely to eat that month. And I would contend so much of this is like when you dig down deep enough, it comes back to that. It comes back to like lizard brain. Like, am I safe? Is there food and shelter? But then I also have to wonder if people are constantly looking for leaders. Does that kind of have to do with the fact that maybe we as people just don't trust our in our own minds enough? We do instinctively need someone just to tell us what to do because we ourselves don't know. I don't think that's a, a set point for humans. I think we've gotten ourselves into that. Maybe not instinctively, yeah. Just we've, that's how it's been for a while. Yeah, we've evolved that way. But I, I agree with you. I, I uh, would definitely latch onto a model of, of, hey, let's have like some sort of collaborative council, something, or, you know, you know, something that looks like actual democracy would be all right with me right. too. Um, I also can't help but notice that the whole exemption from rules thing when it comes to the chosen leader mm -hmm. definitely applied to Herbert W. Armstrong, right? There was like this uh, understanding that there was some sort of pastry he really liked and it used lard in the making of it. And he was like, eh, I'll just have it. I know that my little people obey my rules, but like, I'm the prophet. People who make the rules should not be able to be exempt from them. That oh, is of course not. Bullshit. But we see that in governments all the time. In gov yeah, in governments, yeah. I mean, this is you're you're hitting on that idea that this power and control business isn't just a religious and spiritual situation. It's extended no. pretty far. It is extending, and I, and it's very hard not to steer off of that <laughs> into the broader topics. I know we're trying to focus mainly on, you know, the cult aspect and, and but it, it's high control organizations as well. And that includes governments for sure. The celebrity treatment I wanted to mention as well, because that was also Herbert W. Armstrong being looked at as a celebrity. Our father definitely had to point out the fact that he drove a Rolls Royce when he was driving around England. 
that just gave him, I don't know, somehow more credibility. That's why the whole health and wealth religion ideas worked so well. It's like, oh, well, if you have a lot of money, then God must be shining on you. And therefore, you must be a good person. Like, how the hell did that happen? That sounds like something that people with money were able to uh, put out into the world. Right. And that ties into our whole problem with like great white man history. Right. We talk about, um, you know, revolutionary war. There's like Paul Revere and he was this paragon of a human and he was responsible for the the lights, right? One if by sea, two if by land or whatever, right? That like helped them beat the British. And it's a lie. It's it's American mythology. It, mm-hmm. it was not one person that did any of that shit. But yet we we hold up that one person as like that person did it. Like, no, by telling the stories that way. We're screwing up our chance of recognizing that we all have to work together to make this work. Sometimes employers, if their employee does something good, they will take credit for it. If their employee does something bad, the employee did that. Oh, that's so real. And you want your employees to do a great job for you, but you don't want them to be more knowledgeable than you because of job security and all that. Don't let them overtake you. You want them to be just good enough to make you look good, but you don't want them to look better than you. If you're a boss, you need to make sure you're maintaining your leader authority. Well, I think the terms boss and leader, there's a big difference, but yeah. Well, right, right. But you're you're saying that like you can look at a boss and they could just as easily use this intimidation through leader authority to control oh, yeah. their employees. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. Oh, yeah. I've had it many times. Yeah. You see it in the military all the time. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, any hierarchical organization. Corporate America, governments, the military, all of that.